Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about the transform tool, which can be found in the edit mesh menu. If you want to follow along by picking up the tutorial files, please be sure to check out the VFX fuel membership over on my Gumroad. The transform tool can be used on any component of a polygon mesh. So that's edges, vertices, or faces. To demonstrate this, I've modeled a wooden plank. At the moment, it is 100% perfect. And so it's not very realistic at all. With this tool, we can quickly add some detail to this mesh. I do use this technique in the Viking Shield tutorial series, so you can check that out for a better and deeper look into an example use case for this tool. For this example, let's just go ahead and make a selection of all the vertices. Now head up to Edit Mesh, Transform. When we do this, we get a manipulator, which is positioned aligned with the normal or surface direction of the selected components. If we go ahead and move this a little, you're going to see the way this works. We want something a little more random than this. So if we go into the options, edit mesh, transform, and this time click the little options box, we can increase this random value. Now, when we go ahead and adjust our verts, they all go in different directions and not just in the direction of their normals. Let's not go ahead and do anything too extreme. And you can see we get some nice edges here. And it works especially great on like beveled edges. And here's some renders which I use this technique in. And it was a great way to kind of achieve a fast wooden look to the desk. Moving components along their normals is a super handy thing to know as it can make things such as changing pipes or any objects with a lot of components with a lot of different axes a lot easier. Again, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership on Gumroad if you would like to follow along. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.